Do you have any idea on how to build a sustainable energy provision system for greenhouses? I'm Nima Askeri, doing my PhD at Western University, and I'm working on combined photovoltaic, heat pump, and thermal battery system integrated into greenhouses. Let's start our story with conventional greenhouses. They can be heated by gas or any kind of fossil fuel heaters, and in opposite, be cooled down by an air conditioner. The first novel idea arises by replacing the gas heater and air conditioner with a heat pump. The heat pump can not only fulfill the roles of both heater and air conditioner but also operates without burning fossil fuel. It actually requires electricity. The second idea is to power the heat pump with photovoltaic or PV panels instead of the electricity grid to reduce its carbon footprint. But for commercial scale applications, we need acres of land to install our PV arrays and we never have the option to put our panels on the greenhouse roof or walls as we can in residential buildings. The third and most important idea is to utilize a specific type of PV panels named semi-transparent photovoltaics. Among different structures, luminescent solar concentrator panels can have a smooth path to commercialization. They can filter UV and infrared light, converting it into electricity. However, visible light which we also call photosynthetically active radiation, mainly in the red color spectrum, can pass through and contribute to photosynthesis. Therefore, we can install them on the roof, on the walls, or any place inside the greenhouse, thereby avoiding excess land use. We call this agrivoltaics, a useful integration of PVs and agriculture, addressing the problems associated with their solitary developments. But how about thermal batteries? They can be employed to smooth the fluctuations in the availability of solar energy during the day. All in all, for the first time in Canada, we combine all mentioned technologies and provide a comprehensive model and optimization framework applicable to climatic conditions of any kind. The results of this study offer a better understanding to farmers about retrofitting the conventional greenhouses with novel sustainable alternatives.